Hi everyone, welcome to VA Tech Talks. In this lecture, we are going to see how to use properties files for different environments. Suppose we have dev environment and QA and fraud. Here we are going to create different properties files and based on environment, we are going to run those files by using mule application. So in order to create our different properties files, First, we are going to create, we are going to create one project. We are going to create one project here. Go to any Pine Studio, click on new, new project. Here I am going to provide VA Tech Environment, okay, API. Okay, VA Tech Environment API. So this is my project name. Okay, you can give any name like, uh, you know, VA Tech Test API or ENV API. So that is up to you. Okay. You can give any name here with the project name. Now, the project is created here. Just take the listener because we need to test this via Thunder Client or Postman. Configure the port. So here I'm going to configure this port, okay, as 8081, okay, as of now. Then resource path name would be, I'll keep it as sample, okay? I'll keep it as sample here, just observe. Then I will take the logger. So in this logger, environment, API triggered, okay? Sample message, which I have given here. Then drag the transform message. Just change it to, instead of Java, make it as JSON. So here, I'm going to display, first one is message, okay. I'll keep it as, this one is hard coded value. Welcome to V8 Tech Talks. Here I'm learning. Yield soft. Okay. This is one parameter. Next, I'll keep it as here environment. Okay. Environment, it will take it from configuration file. But anyway, as of now, just I will hard code dev. Okay. Environment is dev. So this is my sample project so even if you run this one you will get the you will get the this type of okay this is a sample output you will get it okay you will get it next we need to create multiple configuration files so how to create click on the source main resource okay just give right click just give right click go to new click on this file okay so here i need to type your config okay my config hyphen dev dot yaml yaml okay so even if you want to create dot properties file we can create the dot properties but here i'm going to create yaml file here just observe 
So this is my file. So here I'm going to keep it as HTTP colon and enter give two spaces. Okay. One, two spaces, then port. So what is the port? 8081. Okay. Next. Here I'm going to keep it as log dot. Okay, log two spaces. Okay, not message, right? Okay, environment. Okay, which environment we are running it? Okay, environment. I'm going to keep it like this. So here we are going to keep it as dev. Okay, this is dev region. So that is the reason I'm going to keep dev here. Okay, if you want to create multiple uh, properties, you can create. Okay, so this is for dev okay same way i'm going to create for qa also and production also just observe my config hyphen qa dot ml file just copy these properties okay just copy these properties Okay, let's keep let's keep it the same environment. Okay, so, sorry, same port number. Just I will change the environment name here as a QA. Okay. The same way I'm going to create one more file. A config hyphen prod dot ML file. Here I'm going to keep the environment name called prod. Okay, so this is how we can create different different properties. Okay, different properties for each environment. Okay, each prop each environment I'm creating the separate YAML file and I'm keeping the separate message. If you see here the environment called dev. Okay, this is for prod and this is for QA. Okay, now what i need to do is okay instead of dev right i need to change i need to change external configuration it's like i need to pick the value from either it is if it is a prod then we need to pick it from prod file or qa it is qa and if it is dev then it should be dev okay how to read that value okay that's very simple Copy this one log dot environment right? Okay, fine. Remove this hard coded value. So there are two ways to there are two ways to access. So one is by using dollar, okay, dollar log dot okay, log dot environment. Okay. So this is how this is how we can access. This is how we can access the value okay this is how we can access the value and sorry dollar flower braces guys okay not this braces okay so this is how we can access and there is another way by using by using p okay you can use p means properties open the braces log dot environment okay this is how this is how we can do that okay this is how we can access we can access the configuration values so now okay i'll keep the logger also here environment ap triggered so for which environment it is triggered okay so for this for this what we can do is 
I'll keep it as dollar. log dot environment so this value it will pick it from properties file okay this value it will pick it from properties file so this is the first step okay so first step is done okay now we need to create configuration okay go to global elements okay go to global elements create config dot properties okay here just observe configuration properties just you have to click this one here we have to map suppose if you map this one okay if you map this one only dev file will execute always but here based on my arguments either if it is a dev then Dev configuration has to take. If it is QA, then QA properties has to take. So that is the reason what we can do is, okay, what we can do is, I'll keep it as dollar flower braces. I'll keep it as ENV, okay, environment, okay. This value will come from arguments automatically when we are running, okay. Just try to run this one, okay. Click on OK, fine. Now, one more configuration it is required. Click on create, type global, okay? So that you can able to see global property here. Click on this property. So here, you need to type as ENV, okay? ENV means environment. The default value we are giving as dev, okay? Suppose if you don't, pass any arguments default it will take as a dev configurations okay just observe here now all the configurations are done so in order to run this one okay first i will run in a normal mode okay go to run as new application new application okay Uh, I think one more configuration is missing. Okay, HTTP listener config. So here also, okay, the default port is 8081 for all. Okay, even if you change or without change, uh, nothing will happen. But anyway, I'm going to change it here. Dollar HTTP dot port. Okay. Suppose you want to run uh, when we are giving the properties as dev 8081, okay? Suppose if it is a QA 8082, if it is a prod 8083 port, okay? If you want to test like that, then you can change the port numbers over here. To identify the different environments, anyway, we have added this parameter so that we can easily identify that, okay? Okay, it is deployed. Go to Thunder Client or Postman. So what is the port? Localhost 8081. Sample. This is my resource path. Just observe here. So what is the response we are getting? Welcome to V8 Tech Talks. Here I am learning views of environment is dev. Okay, this is default environment. Now, just observe, I'll stop this one. I'll stop. I want to run with the QA properties. How to run that, okay? It's very important. Just observe carefully. Go to your project, okay? You right click, click on run as. Don't run mule application, okay? Just Click on this Mule application configure. Mule application configure. Click on this one. Click on this one. Okay. Select your project. Okay. Which project you want to run? Okay. 
okay that is this, this is the one okay we take environment api go to arguments so this one this is very important so how we are going to pass this environment via command prompt when we are running as a maven right so the same way env environment equal to now i want to run with a qa so now what will happen okay just observe carefully okay just observe carefully so automatically whatever the environment we are giving qa right okay anyway we have configured with the dollar environment so that automatically it will take this value automatically it will take this value with this properties qa properties and it will run okay just try to run this one and we'll observe the output okay i'm running with qa properties qa properties it's loading now okay so once it get deployed into our local then we can try to test so earlier okay by default what we are getting we are getting the environment as dev okay now this time we are expecting the environment as qa here okay just observe okay it is deployed fine now i am going to trigger this one see how quickly it got changed because of we are watching the environment okay we are watching the environment as a qa okay now i want to run this in a i want to run my application with production properties okay production properties go to run as new application configure go to argument see here we have an arguments in this argument we need to provide prod okay prod so this time it will take all the properties from production okay it will take all the properties from production even see this is for sample project which i have created even if it is in a real time there are a lot of properties related to production suppose if it is a db you want to connect with the database see development there are some different configurations username password and url if it is a qa there are different uh, properties if it is a production there are different properties okay so that is the reason we always create different properties files okay now we are running with production let's try to observe okay still it is deploying into local let's wait for few seconds okay now it is deployed go to thunder client click on this one see now it is taking the environment as prod okay so now we have only configured for only one property so that is the reason we are getting see even it can configure this message also from properties files okay that is up to you okay this is the sample okay how to create different con different of property files in one project and how to use it based on configurations okay so this step is very important okay so how while running right while running we are passing this one see not mule application mule application configure so here you need to provide the environment okay yes that's it for this video thanks for watching this happy learning we'll see you in the next video yeah thank you